Welcome to Ease in Control and Automation Services. We have had more than 20 years experience in measurement and control engineering. We provide bespoke consultancy solutions, training, equipment hire, and much, much more. Head on over to our website, linked in the description below, to find out more about what we provide. Now let's get on with the video. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Instrumentation and Control. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of valve positioners and uncovering the intricate details of how these devices work in industrial processes. If you're ready for a technical journey, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so what exactly is a valve positioner and why is it so crucial in industrial settings? Well, buckle up because we're about to explore the nitty gritty details. The journey begins with the control signal, often a 4 to 20 milliamp current or a pneumatic signal. This signal is the commander in chief coming straight from the process controller, which tirelessly monitors the system conditions, determining the precise position our control valve should be in. Now, once that control signal arrives at the valve positioner, it encounters the summing amplifier or comparator. Think of it as the brain of the operation, comparing the control signal with the feedback signal, the real-time report card on the valve's current position. The error signal, the difference between the desired and actual positions, then takes center stage. The error amplifier steps in, cranking up the volume on that error signal. It's like turning up the volume on your favorite song, but in this case, the music is the movement of the valve. The amplified error signal becomes the maestro, conducting the output signal orchestra. This signal is the set of instructions sent to the actuator, the muscle responsible for physically moving the valve to its desired position. Enter the actuator, a powerhouse of mechanical prowess. Depending on the application, it could be pneumatic, electric, or hydraulic. Picture it as the engine of your car, translating the electrical or pneumatic signals into the physical motion needed to adjust the valve position. Ah, but our journey wouldn't be complete without a spy keeping tabs on things. That's where the position feedback device comes in, whether it's a potentiometer or an uncoder. This device, attached to the valve stem, whispers sweet nothings back to the positioner, letting it know the real deal on the valve's current location. Within the positioner, a sophisticated logic system processes this feedback. It's the brains behind the operation, calculating the adjustments needed to ensure the valve dances to the right tune. But hey, we can't forget about the supporting cast. In pneumatic valve positioners, a supply pressure regulator ensures a stable air supply to the actuator. It's the unsung hero, quietly maintaining the reliability and accuracy of our valve positioning. The actuator with its newfound instructions then sets the valve into motion. Whether it's a diaphragm or another intricate mechanism, it ensures the valve waltzes to the correct position, keeping the fluid flow in check. Now for those perfectionists out there, some valve positioners even allow for adjustments to hysteresis and damping. Hysteresis ensures consistent responses while damping fine-tunes the speed of the valve's movement, preventing any overshooting drama. And just when you thought our valve positioner couldn't get any cooler, cue the optional features. Limit switches, travel indicators, and communication interfaces are like the cherry on top, making these devices versatile and ready for the big leagues of industrial control systems. Well, there you have it, folks. The epic saga of the valve positioner orchestrating precision in, in the industrial symphony. If you enjoyed this journey into engineering marvels, don't forget to hit that like button, Subscribe for more deep dives and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, stay curious and keep those gears turning.